Good morning. I'll be going through my selections for the Gravel Polytech meeting this afternoon. Now let's start off in race one. Lash LaRue, very eye-catching debut. He was a bit outpaced early in green. He ran on strongly. I've got respect for Champenal. Ran in a very strong maiden last time out. We've seen the winner, Sovereign State, win two since then. He should be right there. Andy Kugel and Warhawk Bomber also got winning chances. Now, race two, Brave Voyager dropping in trip. He should be right there. A horse like Trade War got ability on his day, and it looks like he's back to recapturing his best form again. Purple Powerhouse, well handicapped. He'll be right there. And Faka Imali, I don't think he's out of it either. He's got consistent form. Then on to the third race, Lazy Guy. He's very consistent. You know, he's run 20 times in the first four placings from 33 starts. He jumps from a two draw. I would say he's slightly better on the turf track, but he should be competitive here. Captain, who's an interesting runner, dropping back to the sprinting trips. Um, there are others. Hippocrates, a horse like Activator coming out of the Maidens. Uh, it is tricky. Race four, I would include Proud Master. He's a poly specialist. I think he'll be right there. But I don't think Mr. Master starts is going to be... Uh, I don't think there's going to be much between Mr. Master starter and Proud Master on form. The of the rest, Black Egret, first run on the poly, I think he could be right there too. Tribute to you and imposing outside chances. Race five on the card, very tricky. There's a form line, vision to will, a vision of will, war empress, here in after, fashion mistress, and willow me. They all ran against each other last time out, and there was only two lengths separating them. Race six on the card. There's not going to be much between Escaval and Don't Shoot the Barman at the line. The only other runner I thought that could contest the finish is Big Slick. Now, race seven on the card, the one and three have been scratched. So I actually am having a bet on a horse lock like a Kanyisa in Lela. Now, he's back on the poly track where he runs his best races. And off his current rating, with those two scratchings out of the way, I think Kanyisa and Lela is a hard horse to beat. The danger would come from Raven Sword and a horse like Fish Eagle. Then on to the eighth race, tricky race. Princess Arlo is not one to ignore. She had excuses last time out. Stingray, that was a good last effort, dropping in trip. And hugs and high fives from a deep draw she'll be running on late. And we're saving the best for last. I surrender. I was very impressed with his last effort behind King Pellez. He's going to love this step up in trip. And I thought five to two, great value. So my play for today does come up in race nine. I surrender five to two. I think he's worth a bet.